anyone in this corner cheering them on. Well, they're on the couch here. Little man apparently is still on the Twitter couch. And here we go. It's the Madden Classic live from L.A. And Tweez will take it out to the 20-yard line, and that's where he'll start. Yeah, you got Joe using the Falcons, Tweez using the Seahawks. Tweez going to start off here on offense, and he runs a lot of under center stuff, Scott. And you see a lot of people in shotgun this year. Scott, this is something that's unique to Tweez. He's in this West Coast playbook that not a lot of people run. So, like we talked about in the scouting report, going to be interesting to see how Joe's preparation um, how prepared he is for this offense. That's a little bit different than the ultimate team. Not only are you playing with regular, you know, regular teams, but they also get those custom audibles. That's going to come into play. Russell Wilson here on first and ten. And he'll pick up a few. That's going to bring up second and eight. Be careful with Russell Wilson. And that's one thing I did see from Tweez in the El Paso tournament is he does get a little reckless with Russell Wilson. And if he gets stripped or hit stick running around with him, you could see a fumble. So second and eight for the man Tweez from New Orleans. And Wilson, nice low throw to pick up the first down. Wow, what a route. You don't see a lot of people throw those short curls like that. Tweez mixing something into his game plan. And this is a unique formation. This single back spread, like Rico alluded to in pregame, you don't get to practice against this often because nobody really runs it, but Joke sends the gas. Well, that's going to be the problem. You got no tight end, you know, so Vic Beasley's going to look to eat. And right there, big sack. Bring up second and 12. That's a really good point, Scott. Not having the tight end to block that edge heat. He's going to have to utilize motion and running back blocking to pick it up. Just like he did there. He's going for glory. And there is Richardson. And he's got the speed. And Paul Richardson from Colorado takes it to the house. Look at young Trey Horn bobbing his head. What a way to show up to your first live event with a big opening drive and a touchdown against the veteran joke. How will he respond? Take a look at this again. It is a bomb to Richardson, and Alford just can't get there. Just a bit more speed out of Richardson on that streak. And that was great pocket presence. Blocked the running back, picked up the blitz off the edge that time, stepped up, and let it rip with Russell Wilson. There you go, young Tweez. Well, now Joke will have the opportunity to answer with the Dirty Birds. Yeah, and this is Joke's... This is what he feels strongest about. It's his offense. He said the defense, he, he's good, but he's most confident about his high-powered passing attack with these Atlanta Falcons. So let's see if things can go according to plan with them and if he could respond right away with the score. Well, the speed on this Atlanta Falcons team. Julio Jones is going to be one of the guys to look for. Also that Coleman right there in the slot. So Jones off to the left, little motion. They go to a delay, and Devontae Freeman gets loose. Out to the 40-yard line, nice 15-yard gain for Freeman. Wow, and it looked like if he cut it back inside, he could have took that to the cribbo. Nonetheless, solid run right there by Joke. So that's going to move the chains, first and 10. Trailing by a touchdown is Joke. And let's be honest, that Coleman out there on the right, that's that's glitchy, my friend. Yes, that is something that Joe take a lot of people have taken on to that meta of putting a uh, running back in the slot receiver position, utilizing that speed. And Joe uh, likes to take a lot of credit for being the one to really start that meta. And you see him coming out in this gun bunch offense, which is the offense that Mike Skimbo used to win the Madden Championship last year. So we know that there's some high, you know, some high powered Powerful stuff there. Picks up three, ran into the back of his right tackle, and just like that, we got an offsides. Maybe some aggressive coaching adjustments already from Tweez. Yes, in competitive mode, you won't see penalties trigger and uh, random penalties trigger unless somebody is using coaching adjustments. The fact that Tweez's defense jumped off sides right there, you have to think he has his D-line on some sort of aggressive adjustment. And here comes Freeman again. Good job picking up Bobby Wagner, who was in the middle there, and he's already in the plus territory down at the 31. 
And you talked about those audibles, Scott, and you see Joke mixing up his formations, mixing up his plays, conducting traffic here at the line of scrimmage. And that's one of the best things about Madden Classic is the level of scheme and strategy involved here is unlike any other mode. And Matt Ryan will just throw that one away. That'll bring up second and 10. So Joke on a decent drive here without after giving up the big score to Tweez early. Yeah, he's moving the ball just like he planned to. Hasn't got himself in a bad third down situation yet. Second and ten, keeping his cool. No bad reads. Gets Tweez again. That time Averill jumped off sides. And that's free yardage. And if you're Tweez, you need to go to your coaching adjustments here and, you know, put it back on default. You don't want to just get given, keep giving up those free yards. You go from second and ten to second and five. It's a lot more manageable for Joe. So second and five from the 26. Motion across the formation. Low snap. And Mike Ryan finds Hooper on the outside, and he'll pick up the first down. And what you want to watch out for right there is when you see Julio come in motion, you got to assume that there's going to be some sort of crossing pattern going on in that offense. Julio's going to the left. The tight end's going to leak over to the right. And that's really hard to stop because if Joke makes the right read on those crossing patterns, most likely it's going to be a completion. Awesome Hooper just in his second year. Already making an impact in this one. Shotgun for Matt Ryan. Pocket. And finds Gabriel down at the five-yard line. And this is when it gets tough. That was just prolific, huh? Joke is a professional right down the seam right here. Gets it in the weak spot of the zone. Bullet pass right on target. Biblical drive so far by the joke. Still trailing by a score here. And that's the interesting thing. You know, you're used to playing on different monitors. You can bring up your play art. You can sort of do your coaching adjustments without the other guy seeing. But this is side by side. And Telvin Coleman almost broke the plane down at the one things have gotten a lot stingier here in the goal line than you've seen in the years past the goal the qb sneak which a lot of people yeah. like to rely on in this one yard situation doesn't exist anymore oh it doesn't take exist. it out of the play it's pretty much nerve sometimes you can get it but it's not a go-to thing that's why you see him dump it to freeman sting freeman will go nowhere see freeman is got a little more physicality than tevin coleman coleman's Definitely the change of pace speed back. Double tight, double tight. Hey, hey, go to the... Oh, no! Boy, I thought he was in on that one. This is big, early, big early. Fourth down on the one, hurry up offense. Twee says he's very confident in his run, D. So fourth down and oh! Freeman. And you hear Joke, he's starting to talk to him. Can't get lucky four plays in a row. That means he didn't believe in the run defense tonight. Right, I'm gonna hold it till three. It's lucky he didn't run home. into oh, the back it. of his lineman there, but on fourth down, big conversion, 10 plays, 63 yards, and he takes three minutes off the clock. Look at Tweez, tries to shoot that gap with Earl Thomas, but trips over another player. If he stays on his feet right there, he might be able to make that tackle, but that was a small gap to try to squeeze through. Earl Thomas got turtled there. He was on his back. <laughs> if you just join us, this is the first match of the Madden Classic. Joke and Tweez, we got a ton of Madden coming your way today from L.A. We got... Skim, you know, we got Skimbo and Dubby a little bit later. Some newcomers like Stevie J, and of course, you're seeing one of them right here in Tweez who looked good on that first drive. Yeah, let's see how he responds now. Joe put a little pressure on him. Let's see how this young man can deal with it. You got to watch out for the bomb if you joke. He's got those DBs lined up so close. Oh, and Russell whoa. Wilson got stripped. But a nice Keep job on. with the recovery. Gain of six. Oh, Tweez needs to thank the old gods <laughs> and the new because you see his <laughs> lineman just jump right on oh, that. No, Saves that the so day. Weird. That could have been devastating for young Tweez. Nice slant route to Tyler Lockett who picks oh, up the no, first no, down. Tweez, he's, he's in this playbook. It's the West Coast offense. Not a lot of people run that, Scott. 
You can see, when's the last time you, you had to deal with a spread four wide? Not a lot, but that's one of the, you know, different things about regs, you know, and salary cap draft, you're not going to see this playbook. That's a very good point. This playbook is only available right now in regs. And believe me, I hear about that on Twitter. <laughs> People want it. Last play of the quarter. Good read. He finds his tight end pass Ooh. midfield, and with one quarter gone by, we're knotted up at seven. Wow. How about the high-level Madden going on right here? The thing, though, is Tweez needs to be God, careful so protecting weird. Russell Wilson. He's already taken several hits that he shouldn't be taking with that quarterback and you got to think that could factor into the game later on if he keeps being reckless it could be a cause of a turnover so joke using a timeout there to start the quarter so let's check in with my main man zach farley scott we're over here and you're looking live at duke against chaos duke is on offense he locked up in the red zone to hold Let's chaos go. to a field goal and now he's down at the 10 yard line Let's first and go. goal he's running that gun bunch let's get it back over to you guys sounds like you got some excitement and a big yeah, time while replay. we were away farls uh, just about the same thing happened as rawls gets loose big block there from jimmy graham oh my goodness thomas rawls and that's one of the problems with atlanta they don't stop the run great and tweeze you hear that emotion from him let's go and believe me joke feels that emotion he's going to want to answer right back but i like to see that from tweeze that's the same emotion he was playing with in el paso when he looked like a man on a mission and looking in rare form right now here in burbank california yeah two big plays he had the niner out to Richardson to start the game off, and now a big run on the ground from Thomas Rawls. And so, Joke has got some work to do. Once again, trailing by a touchdown. Joke running this Tampa Bay Buccaneers offense. I know what I know what I know what Goes with a little delay again, but this time, Tweez in that Seattle D standing tall. Yes, and the playbook that Tweez is using is the Kansas City Chiefs defensive playbook, Scott. So Julio Jones solo to the left. I've yet to see him work his way in the offense yet. You got to watch the motion to Julio and then the crossing route, Scott. Julio's going to come this way. Tight end's going to leak that way. Nope. Let's go. Held it a bit too long and a big time sack is going to bring up third and 20. Wow, Twee screaming. Trying to get the momentum. Jokes got himself in a situation here in the second quarter. Tweed's not pressing up here on third and 20. He's going to give him plenty of space to operate. Look at all these goons right here. Overload on that side. Nice job picking up the blitz. He's got to sort of check it down to Julio Put and it, drag please. it across. It, and now it's Don't give me a free fourth and a mile. Oh, we got our go. first stop of the oh, game, and that's frustrating for Joke. You forced the fumble, you got some hits on Russell Wilson, you weren't able to force a turnover, and then Tweez gets out here and forces you in the foreign punt. It'll be so hard. There's room. There's room. Oh, he could have passed Deion Jones with I the hit like at the 37 yard line. It looked like if he stayed to the left, he could have got into it. Might not have been a crib shot, but he would have at least took himself close to field goal range, which is where you want to be because then you could make it the two possession ball game. Got a little greedy on that one. Well, we've seen it with some big plays, but now you need the four minute offense with 326 before the half. You don't want to give Joke the ball back here. Yeah, that's going to be hard to do, to take away 326. You're going to have to be able to establish the run. Rawls trying to find the edge, but Neal does a nice job at the point of attack, second and 12. Look at Tweez running a little bit of strong twin. <laughs> Talk about keeping your opponent off guard. You hope Beast Mode Mac and Duke had enough lap time to get Joke ready for this stuff. See, I don't like how close those corners are. At least he was in the two deep right there. And he finds God. Doug Baldwin at the 44-yard line, who hauls it in in between the zones. People just get in this habit where they want to press or baseline press. And what that's going to do is sometimes your receivers are just going to get right by you, and there's going to be space. Look at that. They're so close. And Rawls 
Oh, that's going to give up the big play. Running I, I, right I, behind I, big oh. number 78. I, I really think players need to get better, Scott, at using the baseline and the press and more situational football. It's become something that a lot of players like to do every time on defense. And that's just not the way you want to use those type of mechanics. You want to be more situational with them because they do leave you vulnerable to the big play. See, I like what Joke's doing right here. He's got these corners back. Not giving up the big play. Rawls in motion this time. And Russell Wilson will get gathered up at the 38-yard no, line. That's going to bring up a third and three. Look at the focus of Joke. And we got to pay homage to him. One of the biggest problems he had last year was keeping his cool. He really worked on that. That was something he literally worked on it. He did different strategies to, you know, help control his anger. And he has done a phenomenal job with that. And it's what's made him the cream of the crop top players all of the sudden. He no longer has any blatant weaknesses because he was able to admit that it was a problem, work on it. And it's something that has improved this game drastically, in my opinion. So after the two minute warning, third and three. Russell Wilson for Tweez. Gotta get down. Gets to the 32. The most important thing here is moves the chains and he's also keeping the clock moving. Yeah, that clock is moving right now, Scott. And like you said, he put on the chew clock. He's gonna take as much time as he can and leave Joke with as little time as he can at the, at the end of this half. Only I, two timeouts for Joke. Remember, he used the timeout at the beginning of the quarter. Yes. It's gonna cost him at least 30 se 40 seconds yeah. here at Regs. That's another difference yep. uh, that we're going to see is that 40 second play clock. Yep. Or clock to chew up. It's a really good point, Scott. For those that don't know, the modes we usually have historically the last few years have played our tournaments in have been mud draft and salary cap. Both of those use a 30 second play clock. It makes it harder to take the game away, mil milk out your opponent. But here in the Madden Classic in regs, it's that normal NFL 40 second play clock. So ball control, a little bit more of a factor here. 110 remaining in the half. Tweez with the lead and the ball. It's a big third and eight. If you're Tweez, you could consider running the ball and just leaving Joke with 30 seconds. No timeouts. But I think he's going to go for the gusto. He's in field goal range right now. Play action. Wilson found Jimmy Graham to the 24. He's going to have a decision to make here, fourth and two. But he's going to have plenty of time to make that decision. He's going to take his three. And interesting right there for Joke not to come out in the field goal block. This will make it a two-score game. He's just letting the clock go. Let it tick. Take as much of that time as you can right now. You want to leave Joke with as little time on that game clock as possible when he gets the ball. Ensure that he doesn't get any points going before the end of this half. And Blair Walsh will kick it through. We got a 10-point lead for Tweez. Two-possession ball game. And remember what we talked about. Tweez is not grinding the ladders. So if he wants to make that ultimate league later on down the year, he's going to have to have a top two finish here at this tournament. That's a different kind of pressure that none of the other players here are having to deal with. So far, though, he plays good under pressure, I'll tell you that much. Well, we were talking before we came on air that the young man looked a little wide-eyed here with the new set and peeking around, but once kickoff happened, he's been locked in. He's ready to go, making his mentor on wild, Madden Pro on wild proud. You know he's at home getting wild. He's been putting a joke in a box. Thus far, 20 seconds to go in the half. After the seven-yard game by... Gabriel. If you're Tweez, you really have to protect the sidelines. You don't want to let Joe get a big shot downfield and then get out of bounds. That's a lot of speed out there with Gabriel, Coleman, and Julio Jones. Yeah, but you look at this. You got goons all over Julio right there. Really the main reason you take the Seahawks is Earl. And there is Coleman. Doesn't have a timeout, so the clock's moving. We're it's under taken. 10 seconds now. Ball at the 44. Take a look at that pass to the outside. The thing is, is he going to be able to make something out of it, though? Last play of the half. 
He just throws it away. Smart. Question mark? There was nothing there. There was nothing there. You don't want to risk a fumble or throwing an interception that goes back the other way and really gets you out of this game. Joke's going to get the ball at halftime. He's only down 10. He's okay. He's a veteran. He's keeping his cool. But man, what a, what a way to start the classic, huh? Well, I tell you what. He had some chances there. You know, he had a fumble by Russell Wilson that he... If he could have picked up, man, that would have changed things. But it's been the big plays from Tweez. Yeah, and Tweez, the most, the thing I'm most impressed with is him keeping his composure, huh? He's getting excited on a big play. Other than that, if you look at his face, he is a man on a mission. And going up against a top player like Joke, who's been pre preparing for you all week, that is not easy to do. Well, a 10-point game here at halftime. Dave and Rico, take it away. Thank you, gentlemen. Appreciate it. Like they said, 17-7 at the half, guys. Rico, before the game, you talked about this being Tweez's first experience, bright lights, big stage. What are you seeing from him from the mental side of things in that first half? It looks like he doesn't even know he's on the big stage. He has just been focused, calm, cool, collected. He's just playing Madden. He's playing classic Madden. He's on the couch next to somebody that can't stop him. And that's what he's used to when he plays I'm Wild and the rest of those New Orleans guys. Sure. Now, Zach... This is not the only game we have going on right now. We have another really solid defensive-minded game yeah. happening in the B stage. What's going on there? It's probably the most interesting 6-3 to three football game I've ever seen. It started out with chaos on offense, working the ball, but he got stalled out in the red zone, but really moved the ball very easily on Duke until the red zone. Duke came back, looked like he was struggling on offense, but hit this huge play to Julio Jones, third and three. Now... Duke has found a way to get him, no matter what the format was, Duke is a tried, true, tested veteran. Chaos, his first time here, but he's used to that big stage. He played major D1 ball. He's not phased here. It's going to be a great one. Can't wait to see that second half. Getting down into the red zone and not scoring, that sounds like Madden 18 to me. <laughs> now, this year we have a fun new wrinkle into our broadcast. We are never going dark. We are going to have somebody in the player lounge for us. His name is Adam Rank from the NFL Network. Adam, how you doing down there? Dave, it's wonderful. Uh, everybody who's watching, they probably are looking at this this whole setup thinking, is this as cool as it looks on my screen? And you know what? It's absolutely cooler. And I'm standing in the absolute coolest spot, the player's lounge. I'm sitting here. Listen, there's a luminary sitting right next to me. Tyson, show, show who's sitting right there. Can you show Michael Skimbo getting ready? He's sitting here. He's too intense. I don't want to show it. It's okay. It's okay. Let, it, let him do his thing. But what we're going to do is after the games are over, we're going to be talking to some of the competitors, as you see right now. Tweez is playing a pretty amazing game. We're going to get a chance to talk to him. He is one of the youngest dudes out here. Mic. Looks Should like he's a veteran, but we'll check it out. So, Dave, let me send it back to you. Thank you, Adam. Looking forward to hearing from you all day long. There's going to be some really cool kind of backstage access right there, Rico. Absolutely. And the thing that I like to see is, is that Skimbo and Dubby there? And they match up later. This is going to be a really interesting day. Sure. Now, we mentioned this is the Madden Classic. We're talking about classic Madden all day. Let's take a look back at some of the fun early covers here from the early days of John Madden football. That face right there is going to haunt my dreams, Rico. Absolutely. I remember my cousin Tony. We were locked in playing until 4 o'clock in the morning. Our parents yelling at us. Madden is its family, its friends, its fun. It's us. Yeah. And like we're seeing today, it's, it's about being on the couch. Isn't that right, Zach? Classic Madden. That's what we're seeing today. It's good stuff, Dave. Big day of Madden action. Absolutely. And on that note, coming up later today, we are just getting started. We have a full day full of Madden for you guys. Looking ahead here, we have our first round games being played. Duke is going to be taking on Joke, Tweez, Chaos, Joke, Chaos, Tweez, Duke. This group is stacked. There's going to be a lot of great games for right now. Let's head over to Adrian Lawrence. She's on the sidelines. Thanks so much, Dave. Now, Joke, right now, you're down 17-7. And Tweez didn't play online, so you didn't have very much to prepare for against him. So, strategy moving forward, how do you plan to tackle this? Uh, I'm about to start trying some random stuff. Hopefully it works. And also, we know you're a poker player, you enjoy gambling and that rush. What kind of skills are you going to be able to use from the tables to bring here? Uh, I'm going to start sending a lot more people. He's, he's way too comfortable in the pocket. And also, sitting on the couch in Madden Classic, you both are emotional, intense. How do you prepare for that? You can. Nobody plays on couches anymore. <laughs> Thanks so much. Back to the casters. All right. Thank you so much, guys. Well, been quite a half, I can tell you that, between these two guys. It's been interesting. It's been interesting uh, between these two players. And I really didn't think Tweez was going to come out this way and 
put it on Joke there in the first half. Yeah, this is going to be interesting, like you said. Can Joke respond when he gets the ball back down two possessions? And here's the thing. If he gets the ball back, scores, pressure's right back on Tweez. You know what I mean? You're one yeah. turnover or four and out away from giving all the momentum right back to Joke. So this is going to be a defining drive in this game coming out of this half. And it was interesting to also hear Joke say, I'm just going to try start trying random stuff. So yeah. obviously whatever he did to prepare for this game, not working his plan, which isn't a good sign for Joke. Well, he's going to start with the ball, so a touchdown or a field goal almost fills a must on this drive. Yes, couldn't agree more. We'll talk more about that defensive pressure when he has to face that Tweez offense, but right now, it's Joke and the Falcons. And I like what Tweez is doing. It's not the same look every time. Sometimes he's overloading to the right. Sometimes it's an even alignment in the box. So he's really mixing up the looks that he's showing a joke, and that's really smart Madden right there from Tweez, especially when you're going up against a player of the caliber of joke. As you can see right here, now all of a sudden he's got the overload on the left, where we saw earlier in the game it was on the right side. So he flips the play, and Jones will go in motion here. Matt Ryan. There's the crossing. Can't get rid of it, and that's going to be a loss of four and another sack. Wow, and those crossing routes, he had Julio right there, just couldn't make it happen. You see him going across. Oh, just a second too late. Tweez bluffed him right there with the lurk. And sort of an awkward pocket there on second down. Third and 14 now. And it's going to be Tweez using an early timeout. That's not something you usually see from the person that's losing in the second half, but when you're up two possessions, you can afford to burn those timeouts in the second half. Guarantee you, you won't see something like that from Joke in this situation. Balance offense for both of these guys. Third and 14. Joke needs a big play. Ryan. The pocket. And there is Earl. Thomas the third, he can do it all, my friend. Earl the Pearl, huh? And I'm not talking the New York Knicks. This guy is all over the him. field. And when you okay. ask these players, why do you use the Seahawks? There's one word they give you. Earl. Earl. <laughs> That's it. And wow. Just like that, joke with a four and out. And one thing I should mention is Tweez's defense. Let's talk about it after this punt. Tweez's defense is extremely underrated. When he won El Paso, we had young Kiv out there in El Paso, you know, known as one of the best Madden players in the world, one of the best offensive minds, and he oh was walking God. down the field on everybody until he ran into Tweez, who, like Wild would say, put him in that, it's a box. Well, he's leading by 10, and he's got a chance to really put Joke in a bad situation here. Yeah, and if you're Joke, you don't want to let up these six-yard gains because he's going to be able to continue to pick up first downs and control this clock. He is going to take as much of this game away as he can. And with a 40-second play clock, each first down essentially could be two minutes taking off of the game if you decide to milk 40 seconds each time. Well, he's outgained Joke by already 120 yards, and there's another first down. And you talked about it, the clock is going to be the thing that really starts to become a factor. Yes, if you're Tweez, uh, the interesting thing will be, does Tweez have that experience? He's a young buck with a lot of skills, but does he have that mental experience to know to take as much of that clock away as possible and limit Joke's possessions? Well, he said he was going to bring some heat. He needs to do it here. Yeah, you got to watch Vic coming right off that edge. I think this is going to be a run on first down. Goes to the air. And Russell Wilson gets loose. Was trying to get down but couldn't, but gets to the 39. Yeah, I feel bad. I'm saying, look at the stick. It was all looking dandy right now. But then he lets him get hit again. You need to be careful, Tweeds. Even if you get away with this game doing that, that could cost you later in this tournament. I want to see him protect Russell a lot better as the days continue. Hey, your quarterback and special teams is just one time, really fumble, the point where you got to take fumble. care of the ball right now with the coaching adjustments. Tweez not happy. Look at that. Seven for nine, 141 yards, a touchdown. There's a fumble in there, but hey, your old line recovered it. Nobody remembers it, you know? Yeah, as long as you don't lose those fumbles and no interceptions. 
Look at that. Good job by Tweez right there, taking that clock down. And finds Tyler Lockett on a strike. Down to the 31-yard line, third and two. And that's the thing. You, you bring in pressure, you throw it from where the pressure's coming from. Lockett picks up a nice gain there on second down. It's very true. That's a solid observation right there, Scott. And that's just football, right? Well, he's trying to dial up the pressure with only with no tight end. We talked about it early. Trying to dial up the pressure. But great pocket awareness. Look at the focus of those players. Oh, sneak! Oh, he broke a tackle with Russ! And Russell Wilson. I always say he's the former NC State Wolfpack. I don't even count the year in Wisconsin. He was a former baseball player as well, and that time he needs got to learn to slide. He was a former second baseman. He is being reckless with Russ, and then all of a sudden he's breaking a tackle. <laughs> One thing I like about Joke is he kept his cool right there. Russell Wilson breaks a tackle on me. I'm mad and raging immediately. <laughs> Thomas Rawls, you can go ahead and put your fours up. The third quarter is gone. What a drive so far by Tweez. Gets the four and out to start the second half. Gets the ball back and then milks the rest of the third quarter. Still with the ball in control in joke territory. Look at the face of that young man. Trey Horn from Louisiana. Well, the key here is if you're joke, you can afford to give up three. Still a two possession game. A touchdown will probably seal his fate here in this first game. And a nice tackle for loss. That'll push him back to the 25-yard line. And now it's a big third and 15. If you tweeze, 15 yards is a lot, a lot to pick up here. You got to be careful. Don't turn the ball over. You might want to consider just running the ball, taking more time off of the clock, and taking your three. We'll hand it off to C.J. Procise. And he'll get down to the 18. Farles, what's going on, my man? Scott, we've got action over here with Duke taking over after the half. He converted on a fourth and two. He's used the entire quarter. He trails by a field goal. He's working the ball. Gun bunch. You expect to see it from him. First and 10 here. He's getting down into the red zone. Let's see what he can do with Matt Ryan and those Falcons. All right, I'll let you guys know if they score. Back to you. Well, that's a... It's that snuggy over there. That that game's pretty close. <laughs> it's defense. A Duke is known for controlling the clock. He in his online elimination, he had one drive where I think he milked a quarter and a half on his opponent. So he's he's biblical when it comes to controlling that clock. So it's now a 13-point game with the field goal. Nice job by Joke. Finally locking up there and Keeping that's a two-score game. Yeah, he has a chance right now. He's still in this game. Two timeouts, 332 left. If you can put together a quick drive and a score, put some pressure back on Tweez, you can come away with this W, and Joke knows that. His poise has been very admirable. I love when I see people correct their mistakes, and that's one mistake Joke completely corrected, is his ability now to stay cool, stay calm, and just focus at the task at hand. Well, this is the time to fight. Fourth quarter, 3.30 to go. Trailing by two scores, and there's Gabriel, who moves the chains out to the 40. Yep, gets out of bounds. The problem I've seen a lot from Joke is he keeps looking for those check down drags and underneath routes. I want to see some more stuff from him going deep down the field. When he threw that corner route at the end of the half to Coleman, he completed a big game. I think it needs to get some more chunks, especially when you're using Atlanta for their high-powered offense. And Ryan, another quick outside, and there's Julio Jones. You saw the speed. Cross the 50 to the 42. That was a good read, good route, something that Tweez hasn't seen yet. There you go, Joke. And this time in this game, 319, you can get yourself right back in this. Just march down the field, you'll be okay. Got to watch the crossing routes. Needs two scores here. Field goal won't do it. What defense. And Matt Ryan just getting away from Bennett there. And we got a tie score in the other game right now. So pretty tight right now. And Joke's got to do a little bit better. 72 passing yards is not so great. Only 10 attempts. And a big part of that is Tweeds just really controlling the clock keeping this high-powered Atlanta offense off of the field after he forces them to go for and out. And there is Gabriel, and Gabriel will get to the 20. So he's knocking on the door. We're here at the red zone. 
And the fear choke, you would love to score before we hit that two minute warning. He's got three timeouts. That would pretty much make it four timeouts if he's able to get in. Now he's got the, yeah, he does have the three timeouts. You're right, Scott. Matt Ryan. Oh. Run to the 16 yard line. Hey, he's telling Tweez, you can take some hits with your quarterback. I'll take some hits with my quarterback, too. Trying to get a playoff before the two minute warning. Matty Ice. Boy, he's trying to squeeze that one into Coleman. It's a gain of five. And now that clock is starting to tick, tick, tick away. Yep, the time is definitely a factor here in this game. But if you joke, your, your main concern right now needs to be getting into this end zone. There is Freeman. Should be enough for the first down and it end. Yep. It is. So it's first and 10, the rare first and 10 from the 10. <laughs> And obviously, a uh, field goal no good right here. If you're joking, you need to get into that end zone for six. Matt Ryan, boy, good user defense by Tweez, and he'll just throw it away. And what you saw the defender in zone come down and chase Matt Ryan. What Tweez did right there was he sent the defender, and you can do that by clicking in the right stick. When you click in the right stick, the closest defender to the quarterback will abandon his assignment and go after the quarterback. That's exactly what Tweez did right there. Great adjustment, great sounds, use of the mechanic. Sounds simple, but you would be surprised the amount of players that don't know. Oh, yeah, any of the hardcore players out there, like, give us a break, G. We know that, but, hey, you'd be surprised. And it's a touchdown for Joke as Freeman gets in. And he'll kick the extra point here, and we got ourselves a six-point game. And Mr. RG, Mr. Competitive Player, what do you do? You kicking it deep? I am absolutely kicking it deep right here. You don't want to let him get the field goal because that'll make it a two-possession ball game. And the onside kick is going to get him only, you know, be about five or six yards away from a field goal, field goal range. And the way Tweez has been moving the ball, you got to assume he'll be able to get six yards. If I'm joke, I'm kicking the ball off and I'm playing defense. And that's exactly what he's going to do right here. This is going to be a huge sequence of downs. We talked to Skimbo last night and he said on salary cap, I kick it short. Regs, I'm kicking it deep. And lock it with a spin move. And he decides to go down to the 16-yard line. Hey, you play it safe. People are known to fumble on those kick kickoffs. What the? Come on, man! Got some action over there in Eric, the Duke yeah, chaos. Yeah, chaos. Man. The emotion of chaos. Nothing short of saying fear of the turtle. 125 to go. Ball at the 16. And Tweed's going to, he's going to shotgun here. A little interesting. You, you got to wonder if he's going to audible back down to under center because you got to assume he wants to run the ball right here. Start getting into those timeouts. Like you said, though, Joke still has all three of those timeouts. Gun doubles here for Tweez. And a nice job. Zach, what's going on in the other game? Scott, it's like the 2002 ACC tournament over here. Maryland all over Duke. A huge dot in this one. Jimmy Graham. Makes him get off the couch and get fired up. Back to you guys. Wow. Time for a big play there for Chaos. And now. Hey, and this is what I love about competitive gaming. Both yeah. the guys, first time here at a live event, and they got both of the veterans backs up against the ropes Nobody! here in the first round. Well, Tweed's going back to what works after the loss of two on first down. Low pass to Richardson, and he'll pick up eight. So we got a third and four. And Joke, with just one timeout remaining, so. This is huge. This is everything this right is here. This is everything, this is huge. I'm standing up. <laughs> hey, if you're gonna stand up, I'm standing up. It's good defense, he's got him! Wide open, Whoa! it's my main man, Let's Dougie go! Fresh. And that'll put it on ice, my G -G! friends. Wow, GG, he screams. And you know, usually G -G, you gotta type GG online, but here in person, you can just look to your opponent and say, GG! <sighs> what a play right there by Tweez. He's got his mom, Tasha, watching at home. She's G -G. gotta be going crazy because go. that young man just put on a performance in his first match of the Madden Classic. Okay. I thought this was gonna be his toughest opponent. You know, the opening game versus joke. <laughs> But man, he's been cool, calm, and collective, like the underside of the pillow. Oh my goodness, you are not Lion Coltrane. What a performance by Tweez. Kept his composure, was in some awkward positions, and got it done. 
So six point win here for Tweez and Farley. What's going on in this last game? 